Well, uh, you know, one of the, this is you know quite a surprising move here by the by Prince Mohammed. Uh, I mean, most of all, this arrest or detainment of uh, of Al Walid. What does this mean for? Let's tackle Al Walid first. He's being detained. We're not exactly sure mm -hmm. where, but what does this exactly mean for him and Kingdom Holding? Well, first of all, I think that Mohammed bin Salman was going to consolidate this, has long been part of the plan to really pave the path to, to his rise to the throne. He's only a few steps away from that right now. The scope of this purge is what's surprising. The number of princes arrested, the number of ministers uh, that are implicated. I think the message is uh, that be it the kingdom holding Al-Walid or other uh, participants or private uh, private sector participants in Saudi Arabia, right. Mohammed bin Salman will require loyalty. And uh, I think that's the message in terms of the assets, in terms of uh, the investments in Saudi Arabia proper. Uh, certainly demanding loyalty. So, you know, so is this purge um, about demanding loyalty and, and purging those who might oppose him? Or is this about actually fighting corruption? Well, I think it's very difficult over here not to see that there is a political dimension to the purge. I think anti-corruption is definitely a new campaign, a new heading and headline in Saudi Arabia. And it's an effort by Mohammed bin Salman to present himself as a reformist, as a popular figure who cares about the people. But there's certainly a political dimension to this. Uh, Prince Metab bin Abdullah has been removed. He's head of the National Guard. That's definitely a political message that is intended to really remove obstacles uh, facing Mohammed bin Salman. Uh, the corruption is widespread, and I think we'll see more news, of, m more news of that. But the message to other members of the business community is uh, that you need to settle your disputes with the government, and you need to, to do it proactively.